What's up Fortnite fam? I'm your update host Matt Harris and I'm finally back once again to break down everything new in Fortnite's 15.2 update. The frigid frosts of the snowdown event have passed and a whole bunch of new items and changes to the map have been added to the game. So grab a cookie, sit down and relax as we take a dive through all of the changes and leaks in the new update. As usual Epic Games has released some subpar patch notes explaining the biggest changes coming in the update, so we'll go over those first. First and foremost we've got a brand new weapon coming to the game. The new lever action shotgun will blow your opponents away with a single blast now available in regular loot drops. Next up is the new exotic the Hop Rock Julies. With this new exotic class weapon purchasable from certain characters or with your bars you'll be able to shred through your enemies with bouncing style. The forest is moving, and something might be out there. The secret battle pass skin is getting closer to release and so Epic's marketing is hyping the character up with some changes in the stealthy stronghold which might just reveal who they are and what they're planning. What are those changes? Well the Yoja Predator's ship has crash landed in the area. According to data miners the Predator himself will soon become an NPC that you can fight in the area. Meanwhile Agent Jones will be bringing in the big guns with two new hunters joining in the Fortnite Season 5 chaos, but we don't quite know who those are yet. Last but certainly not least is a welcome change to the pre-edit options. In 15.1 Epic made some changes to the way pre-edit options worked in the game, but their changes didn't quite seal the deal for you peace control monsters out there. So now with disabled pre-edits turned on, all player built structures will not be editable until they are actually placed down on the map, meaning you'll get the correct piece every single time. Hey on the subject of piece control, is that something that you want to get better at? Well why not head over to ProGuides.com right now so you can spec up on all your Fortnite skills to try and make 2021 your year in Fortnite competitive. You could check out the brand new Clicks Masterclass, our innovative VOD review system that will help your abilities evolve at a rapid pace, or you could play with one of our 24 7 live coaches and get to know exactly where you're going wrong. As usual, the data miners have been hard at work uncovering all the secrets of the Fortnite files, allowing us to see the majority of the skins and cosmetics that are coming in this update. They've also given us a look at the weapons that have came out of the vault this patch. We'll go through the weapons first. Now available to play with once again is the legendary tactical AR and the rare tactical AR. There is of course the new lever action shotgun and an uncommon snowy flopper. According to Hypex, some changes have been made to the way IO guards work. These dangerous NPC enemies now have the chance of dropping shields and health, and their obnoxiously loud sounds have been lowered. There's one pretty cool addition coming to the game that we won't be seeing until the Grefg's Floor is Lava tournament. Since the beginning of chapter 2 there have been other islands surrounding the main island off in the distance. Well for the tournament those islands will be replaced by an ominous volcano off in the distance. On the skins front we've got Tess, Orin, Ruby Shadows and the new Bush Ranger Winter variant and the new Trinity Orange variant. As for the harvesting tools there's the Trixie Axe, Null Pick, Shadow Slicer and a new style option for the honey hitters called the Mapley Machetes. Next up is Back Blings, there's the Prickly Heart Mecha Fusion Jump Kit and the Blackout Bag. There's also a new Buzzy Bag Winter variant. There are a couple of new gliders in the form of the Spiky Jet and the Sky Shadow. And last of all the wraps, we've got Hearts and Bullets, Star Mapping, Warp Field and the Far Out. That's everything that was added in today's update, you know it makes sense that this weeks update would have been a smaller one. We had a massive update just before the holiday break and Epic have only been back at work for a week now. Here's hoping that the next update brings a lot more to the Fortnite island. If you enjoyed today's update video make sure you drop a like, subscribe and hit the bell so you can be informed of all our future videos. For now I'm going to go play the new update, but I'll see you guys in the next one.